Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the week ahead, so the November 18th through the 24th, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so just remember that. But what do we have for Aquarius? Remember, this reading can go vice versa, so keep that in mind. This card will be uh, read in the upright position, but if it comes out reverse, then so be it. Okay, but I will I'll flip it, but we'll, we'll take the reverse into consideration if it does, you know, come out that way. What do we have for Aquarius for the week ahead? I just had the Nine of Swords. I'm sorry to say that. That's caution. Give deep thought to a relationship. You could be dealing with somebody who doesn't have good intentions. Your gut may be telling you that. You may be worried. You may be anxious. Angel of balance. So there's a lack of balance somewhere, but you have the opportunity to bring it back. Okay? So... Yeah, it's like you have external help. Something may be trying to restore balance in your life and you may be resisting it. You know, to, to get balance sometimes, you know, to even out those scales, you might have to take something off the scale. You know, you might have to, you know, to get balance, you might have to, you know, redistribute a few things or remove something or add something or whatever. So it's a week of restoring balance by the looks of things. Let's get a couple of these for Aquarius. What do you got for Aquarius, dear God, angels, spirits, and universe? Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times, so you will be taken care of. That's a good thing. Boot, increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Increase your efforts. Elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So you're becoming wiser through whatever you're experiencing right now. This is giving you wisdom. It's it's building your character. There's something going on right now that is is building your character. Horseshoe. Good luck. So we got some good luck here. And wheel. Indecisiveness. Allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So it's like you need to take charge of a situation by the looks of things. Increase your efforts. It's like you're not putting in enough effort into something. And I know that you guys are very strong and you do usually put in effort. But according to what this says, you know, you're, if you're just letting life ramble aimlessly, you definitely need to put in more effort if you want it to go in a certain direction. So let's just see what we got for Aquarius. November 18th to the 24th. Long journey is making you wiser. Ooh, 21. 21 may have something to do with the 21st. That's what I just heard. Now, there's a, there's a emptiness here with the world reversed. There's an unfinished business or a lack of closure. It's like something isn't over yet. Or maybe it is and you're, you don't get the closure that you'd like. Knight of Cups. Now this is emotional support or somebody that somebody may be coming in that is looking to have a relationship with you. Um, this is wanting romance or wanting a relationship. It could also be a very sensitive, intense time. Um, there may be a need for some sort of compassion this week. Now, somebody could be moving with the Six of Swords that's moving away from a troubled situation, taking a new approach, uh, getting out of a situation that was troublesome. 
headed towards something more emotionally fulfilling, maybe leaving without saying goodbye. That could, I mean, sometimes that's the case with the world card reversed. There, somebody's getting caught doing something with the seven of swords reversed. That's getting caught. Getting caught in a lie. The truth coming out. Perhaps somebody that that you're in a relationship with or that you were in a relationship with they could they could have swept you off your feet could this could go vice versa and it was all a lie this is something somebody getting caught you know they may have pretended or perceived you know they may have said that they were it you know that you know they were everything they may have led you to believe that they were the whole package and they really aren't i mean that's kind of what this looks like to me um, you could be dealing with somebody who is very arrogant. This person could have a drinking problem. Definitely could have a drinking problem. This person is a flirt. Um, very, very flirtatious, but they may have, uh, cheating tendencies. Just saying. Uh, you may, you may, your gut. That's funny, because this is about your gut. And I started this out with your gut. Your gut may be telling you that something is up with this person. Um, this person may have just gotten out of a relationship and they aren't completely healed. Just got to throw that out there because that's what came out of my mouth. Somebody may have some sort of hidden agendas. Be careful. Be very, very careful when you can see the Seven of Swords reversed. You could have somebody around you that has swept you off your feet. They seem to be Prince Charming. They seem to be the prize package. And, you know, it may not be exactly what you think it is. Um just saying there is some sort of exchange here you will be exchanging energy with another person you may be very seduced by this person or this person may be very seduced by you there is a sexual energy here where there's a sexual attraction they may say you may think that you may start a relationship or they, this could be a false relationship I'm just sorry to say I am sorry to say if you're single and somebody has swooped in or you were single and you've started something with somebody and you think that they're that they're being true to you that seven of swords tells me that there's something up okay and your gut may be saying that something is up um this is act now think later uh you could be dealing with somebody who has ego and pride issues and they just need an ego boost keep that in mind keep that in mind um this is somebody that is uh weak and it's very sexual energy. This is sexual, this is sexual, and this is sexual. And this is as well. This is an exchange of energy. And it's just be careful. Just be careful. If if this isn't based on a partner, you know, if it's based on something else, you could be dealing with somebody who has some sort of hidden agendas and they want something from you. This person is... Uh, They're presenting you with a golden opportunity. They are. It feels to me as though you got somebody coming into your life that is presenting an opportunity for love. I'm serious. It's like this is this. They they say that this is love. They 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 probably are saying all the right things. They're very very flirtatious. You could be. It's probably a water sign. It could be a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be a Leo. Could be a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be a Sagittarius. Whatever. I feel as though you got somebody here that is offering you love. Definitely. Somebody is, or, or, I'm not sure if it's real though with that seven of swords reverse because that is be careful. And I see the sexual energy. It's like this is a, this is a hot attraction. It's hot. It's hot. It's hot and heavy. You know what I mean? And it seems like it's a golden opportunity, but, and you may not be able to restrain yourself because the attraction is so good. But I feel like this person has unfinished business with somebody that they have broken up with. And that's what I think it is. I think there's unfinished business with somebody else. That's what I think this is. Choice between two lovers. Now this is this is a dead end. The Four of Swords reverse is a dead end.
Be prepared. Get prepared. Get prepared for something. Get prepared for an arrival. If you are single, if you are completely single and nobody has entered your life, somebody is about to enter your life. Just saying. This person is going to be very, very flirtatious. And it's like, it's like they have intentions of having a relationship with you. They do. But there's something about them with the Seven of Swords reversed that your gut is telling you isn't right because this is your gut, the High Priestess. It's like, it's like you know that there is something up and I'm telling you that there is something up. Be careful. This is a card of consequences. You have a choice between two. That's the meaning of this card. This person may be looking for you to help them heal from this other person that they have a lack of closure with, the uh, unfinished business with. Somebody is moving on from something as well. There's going to be some sort of exchange here. It's like moving on from a cheater. So that could be the case as well. You could be moving on from a deceptive situation or somebody that you are dealing with. There's somebody that is moving on from a, a lie or a deceptive situation that has resulted in a dead end. And they are moving into a new love connection. So get prepared. Something is arriving. Something that, that somebody has been praying. And it's like their prayers have been answered. So... I mean, this really looks like it's good. It does look like it's good, but you're going to have to make some sort of choice. And I feel feel like it's maybe it's your choice to move away from the liar, move away from the cheater. That could be your choice because you have another opportunity for love here. There's a choice between two. You got somebody here that wants to have a relationship and this person appears. And that's why it was so confusing, confusing because there is two people here. I get it now. So there's one person that is a liar and a cheat and doesn't tell the truth. And that's a dead end situation. And then there's another person that is moving towards happiness. Moving towards a new relationship. Moving towards love. And this is a, some sort of soulmate connection by the looks of things. It's like an exchange, silver for gold. So it's like letting go of one and exchanging it for something better. So there's going to be an exchange. If it hasn't happened yet, it's going to happen very, very soon. Somebody is headed towards a very much more emotionally fulfilling situation after being cheated, after being lied to. It's like this is your the answer to your prayers. That's what I, or to an, the answer to somebody's prayers that is in this situation. Somebody's prayers are going to be answered. Okay, somebody could actually be moving to, I know that's a little bit different, I think I might have said that, but whatever. There is moving, there's moving here. Somebody is leaving behind a troubled situation and headed towards tender love and care, just saying. There's a lot of love here. Somebody is headed towards love. And it's like there's... It's like there's unfinished business, though, with the world card. It's like there's no closure. And it's like maybe you just decide. It's like I'm not even going to say another word. I'm going after happiness. This is extreme happiness. This is a golden opportunity. Whoever this person is, it feels like they're stable. They're solid. They have a lot to offer. And there's a deep soul connection that could really grow. So... But you may be resisting it. Remember, this came out reversed. So there's an opportunity to bring balance back to your life. But you may have to let... It's funny that I mentioned those scales. You may have to let go of something completely and put it on the other side to even things out. So that's what this is. It's like an evening out. It's like something is arriving that you have been waiting for. Or something is leaving. Both. Both. So Aquarius, I feel like it's the basically the end of waiting. This change is about to happen. Change is right here with this temperance card. Things are about to change. You're about to have it. Uh, uh, there's going to be an exchange 
this week. An exchange of energy, an exchange in circumstances, okay? Whatever has been happening, it's time. It's time for this change. It's time for, it's almost like it's time for a reward, whatever that is. Um... This is a renewal. There could also be a reconciliation here. Somebody could be reconciling. Because this could be a reunion or a reconciliation. So, Aquarius. Whatever has happened has made you wiser. And it's like you're about to... Something is about to arrive into your life that you have been waiting for. Or it has arrived. But you're going to have to completely or somebody has to completely move on from the deceptive situation. This is this is getting caught. Somebody's going to get caught in a lie. They've been hiding. They've been keeping a secret. And some secret is going to be revealed that helps somebody to move on and make another choice. So there's definitely going to be a decision that is made that moves somebody into a new relationship or a more loving relationship. So yeah, that's what I got. Good luck.